Hey everybody! Welcome to 601 Travels and to the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Wichita, Kansas, then you are in luck. Today, we're going to see and explore what makes Wichita a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Wichita has almost 400,000 people and is known as the air capital of the world. Located in eastern Kansas, right about here on a map. What more could you ask for from Wichita? It's the birthplace of Pizza Hut, White Castle, and some of the best air quality in the country. Factor that in with the relatively low crime rates and all the things to do, Wichita's a pretty good place to visit and plant roots. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that makes Wichita a great place. Number 10, Great Plains Transportation Museum. The railroad played a very important role in the American heartland as the West was explored and transportation was established. The Great Plains Transportation Museum is a railroad museum in Wichita that has a huge collection of trains, engines, carriages, and artifacts related to railroad transport. There are six locomotives on display as well as a caboose and baggage cars. Other exhibits include signs, lanterns, and tools used to work on the trains. This is a really neat place to check out to learn about the development and usage of the railroad in Great Plains. Number 9. Frank Lloyd Wright's Allen House Frank Lloyd Wright was an American architect, designer, writer, and educator who designed more than 1,000 structures over a time span of 70 years. He helped design what America would look like with his home and architectural designs. The Allen House is another one of his home designs, built in prairie style, and is considered to be one of his finest designs. Completed in 1918, you can tour the house to see how far ahead of his time he was with the way he created. The home features more than 30 pieces of original furniture designed by Wright, as well as a large collection of his artwork and personal furnishings. Stepping into the Allen House is taking a step back into 1915 and is a really nice destination in Wichita. Number 8. Original Pizza Hut Museum Because who doesn't love pizza? This little building is where it all started. Not in the exact location it's in, it's been moved to the WSU campus and turned into a museum, so it can be enjoyed by all. But years ago, back in the 1950s, when pizza was all the rage in the United States, two brothers had a vision. In 1958, the first Pizza Hut was opened in this building on the corner of Bluff and Kellogg. They sold pizza and had no idea how successful it would be. They welcomed their first franchise in Topeka shortly after, and today it's the largest pizza company in the world with more than 11,000 restaurants in 90 countries. The museum holds artifacts and memorabilia from the restaurant's humble beginnings and serves as an inspirational reminder of what can happen with a dream and a lot of hard work. Number 7. Museum of World Treasures Opened in 2001, the Museum of World Treasures is just as the name implies. Treasures from all over the world brought to Wichita to create this museum that is full of interesting and unique experiences. Great for families and people interested in history, visitors here will see many different items including a T-Rex, dinosaur fossils, Egyptian mummies, signatures of all the American presidents, a section of the Berlin Wall, 
and a real-life shrunken head. The museum's full of exhibits that will make you think and wonder, and the best part is that you don't have to drive for hours to see it. This is definitely one of those places that you don't see very often. Number six, Great Plains Nature Center. If getting outside and exploring the Great Plains is what you're in the mood for, this will make you happy. Over 240 acres of beautiful outdoor trails will lead you through the grassland prairies full of wildlife and tranquility. You'll see and learn about the Kansas wildlife at Chisholm Creek Park and see animals like deer, muskrats, and egrets. I'm not sure really what an egret is, but they have them. There's also a nature center that has a hands-on exhibit area where guests can learn about the rivers, lakes, and woodlands that make up the Great Plains. There's a 2200 gallon aquarium filled with fish life from the area to see. So whether you're interested in learning about wildlife or just want a quiet, relaxing place to take a nice walk, the Great Plains Nature Center is a beautiful destination. Number five, Wichita Gardens. Wichita Gardens is undeniably one of the most beautiful spots in town. Its picturesque setting and layout makes it a destination not only for people who garden, but for those looking to escape the bustling city for a little while. It's also a very popular destination for photographs, engagements, people in love holding hands to take a walk. With more than 17 acres of gardens, you'll see all kinds of plant life on display here, as well as a 2,800 square foot butterfly house there are more than 350 rose plants, 30 types of junipers, and other favorites like azaleas, dogwoods, mulberries, and more. The gardens have a park-like setting complete with benches, fountains, and even a children's area. You'll feel like you're out of the city and somewhere else when you're here. Number four. Kansas Aviation Museum. Housed in the former airport terminal that was in use from 1935 to 1951, the Aviation Museum was opened in 1991. This building just looks awesome from the outside and the inside won't let you down either. Welcoming an average of 24,000 visitors per year, aviation fans enjoy exhibits featuring all kinds of planes, new and old, as well as aviation related artifacts. You'll see everything from Boeing jets and one of a kind artifacts on display. There's also an outdoor park with even more artifacts to see. Number three, Sedgwick County Zoo. Wichita has a great zoo right in town. So there's no need to go to another city to see some great exhibits. Set on 247 acres and home to over 3,000 animals, the Sedgwick County Zoo welcomes 650,000 visitors per year. People come from all over to see their rhinos, elephants, lions, gorillas, zebras, giraffes, hippos, and monkeys. The zoo is divided into themes with the animals in their respected country. Other exhibits feature regional animals that are from the plains specifically. Penguins Cove is the zoo's first marine exhibit and is home to a colony of penguins in Kansas. That's crazy. The Asian themed exhibit features tigers, pandas, and brow antlered deer. There's so much to see here. Number two, Old Cowtown Museum. Sometimes a place will make you feel as if you're in another place in time. The old Cowtown Museum will actually put you there. Established in 1952, this is a living museum that recreates life in the late 19th century area of Wichita. Occupying 23 acres of land, there are 39 buildings you can walk around and see inside of. 19 of them are actual historic 19th century buildings. 
Aside from viewing the history within the walls of the structures, you can also put on period clothing and take old time photos. This open air museum has been the site of many Hollywood movies. Number one, Exploration Place. This is the premier place in Kansas for hands-on science and technology for all age groups. Opened in 2000, this 100,000 square foot building is an amazing site. Set on 20 acres, this venue has the largest dome theater in Kansas at 60 feet high with a 360 degree screen with 150 seats to show digital films. The museum has five hands-on exhibit areas, the Focus of Light, Kansas, Medieval Life in a Three-Story Castle, Imaginative Space for Toddlers, and a special traveling exhibit area. Dinosaur bones, ancient relics, you'll see it here too. Everything here is state-of-the-art from its design to audio-visual equipment in the planetarium. With something for everyone, Exploration Place is an awesome place to visit for families to have hours of educational entertainment. Alright everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything or mispronounced anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Wichita, Kansas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.